Hello Vapors, uh, today we're gonna look at an Addy instead of a mod. So this time it's gonna be the uh, Chaos uh, Addy uh, made by Mohamad Farid. Mohamad Farid is a, a fellow modder from uh, Malaysia. He made some mods that's named the uh, Medusa and also the Kraken. Uh, Medusa and Kraken are Orion lookalikes. I'm sure you've seen them and this is the Addy that he made. It's a dual coil type of Addy. The body is 316. Sorry, 316 stainless steel. And instead of brass that you see over here, instead of brass, you see that it's actually bronze. It's not brass, it's bronze. So on the look side of it, uh, it's a 22 millimeter. Uh, type of Addy uh, with dual air hole, one on each side. Dual air hole, one on each side. So, um, and it comes with a custom uh, drip tip that is supplied with it. It comes in a really nice case. Comes in a really nice case. This is the case it comes in with. It says chaos and it's got the serial number on the case as well this one is the number 42 really nice and Addy uh, let me put on a closer look like this it's got the serial number on the drip tip uh, laser etch but the depth of the etching is pretty deep uh, I say this would last for a while and that's the logo right there as you can see it says uh, chaos very nice design it's got a funky design the brass uh, bronze I'm sorry the bronze uh, part of it and what's nice about it it comes with uh, four sets of air holes four sets of air holes so what you do is this you you can just turn the Addy and select the air hole that you want me I'm just gonna stick with the uh, lower I mean the, the smaller sizes of air hole it's got four sizes of air hole the 0 0.5 1 uh, 0.5 mm 1 mm 1.5 millimeters and also two millimeters uh, in pairs so what you are actually getting is about 1 mm 2 mm 3 mm and 4 uh, mm air holes which are uh, paired together uh, nice Addy, uh, I would say. Now let's take a look at it uh, part by part. All right, so let's take a look at the Addy uh, a little bit closer with its parts. We got two insulators over here. Uh, here's one of it. I believe this is made of uh, Delrin. Focus the camera. Yeah, I believe this is made of Delrin. Uh, nicely machined. Uh, I don't know how resistant this material is uh, to heat compared to silicone but it, it hasn't shown any sign of burning this is the uh, base of the Addy you can see there's two poles over here stainless steel I believe these poles are press fit into the Addy uh, two o-rings as you can see it's nice uh, it makes everything fits uh, very snugly the bottom part uh, has got the uh, serial number and also the name of the Addy as you can see here and the machining of the thread looks nice as well so that's the base of the Addy here's the center pole center pole that is made of uh, copper with the I believe this is a, a steel screw the same screw with the ones that are on the uh, base of the Addy. So this whole piece fits in together like this. Put this one in here. And it's a snug fit. Take out the screw first before you fit this in. And what you do is then push this piece piece in
as such and then slide this whole assembly in there yep and then what you do is put in the final screw which is the center post screw it's also worth noting that uh, you can see you can observe that the height of the pole is not equal you can see that the two outer poles the negative poles are higher than the center pole which is nice because when I when when I show uh, my setup on this Addy, you can you can appreciate why this center pole is lower co uh, towards the middle compared to the outer poles over here. This is a good feature. I I really like this. Okay, let's take a look at the first sleeve, the first outer outer sleeve. You can see the uh, etching, which is done uh, very nicely. The logo looks a little bit funky. It says chaos, and there are two holes here. There's one over here, and there's one on the other side to aim at the coil. And this is the uh, the most uh, upper sleeve that has got eight holes because there's two air holes needed. So that's a pair of each uh, size. Let me try to show this a little bit closer. All right. So what what's here is that you can see this. Let me try to get something to show you. Okay. So you can see at this part here, this hole is the same size as this. So no matter where which hole you are choosing, it's all, always going to choose the same size of hole that is aimed at the hole over here on this side. So these are the holes. It starts with the 0 0.5 millimeter and progressively gets larger and larger. I can't remember what, what the hole size is. Let me take a quick look. I gotta refer to my phone over here. Uh -huh -huh. All right, so the hole sizes are hole sizes are it starts at 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So effectively, you you can like have a z uh, one point uh, oh mm one one mm hole because it's a pair of it. So this is 0 0.5. Then it goes to 1.0, 1.0, and it goes to 1.5. And lastly, the two millimeter. So two millimeter, uh, a pair of two millimeter effectively makes like uh, four millimeters of uh, air hole. So uh, I like this design because you have the flexibility of choosing whatever kind of draw that you want without making any adjustments uh, to the uh, addy or, or I mean you 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 don't have to have a bottom adjustment for this to work. It comes with the addy. So that's a nice feature okay the drip tip that comes with it is certainly not my favorite because of one thing it's made of uh, stainless steel I'm not such a fan of a stainless steel drip tip although they, they last a lot longer because they don't break if if you if, if you drop your mod but the main reason is that it, it transfers heat and also, what I don't like about this is that uh, compared to my Addy, uh, my drip tip over here, look at the size of the opening. Uh, this one that comes with it is a bit smaller, in my opinion. Uh, so harder to drip. However, most people would just, if, if you're using this Addy, most people would just take this out, take this out, and then drip through this hole, and then put it back in. There's also one more feature of the uh, top part 
of the uh, this chaos. So there's kind of like a roughen edge, uh, roughen roughen edge ring over here. It says, uh, as you can see, chaos and also the serial number again. So uh, I think because it's so separable, the eddy is separable, you get serial number on the top cap and also the base uh, of the eddy over here. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, to call this up and we'll try out and see what it actually performs like. Okay, uh, I've set this Eddy with a dual coil, so I'm going to show you how I set up uh, my dripping Eddy. What I do is that because Eddy's uh, dripping addies, they when when you drip them, uh, drip some liquid inside. What happens is that the liquid pools on the on the base of the addy, so the liquid pools down here. Silica wick is actually a very slow wicking type of wick. It it's not really suitable if uh, for for high power uh, type of coils because if the if, if the wick couldn't supply the liquid fast enough to the coil then what happens is that it, you, you're going to get dry hits and it's going to glow and that will result in bad vaping so in order to pick the liquid from the bottom of the addy from the bottom of the addy what i have as you can see here the two wicks have have been slanted and pointed to the base of the addy let me try to Put this closer so you can see it okay so this is what I'm talking about so this piece is slanted the way I roll this is that when you fit it it will slant uh, to the bottom so this part over here is what picks up the liquid from the bottom in a short distance so it can it can pick it up relatively faster from this part this top part this top part uh, these two loops over here for me it's just decoration it doesn't really help with the supply of the liquid to the coil rather this is the part that I think I believe is the one that's doing the work so it picks up the liquid from the bottom up to the coil right here so uh, what I do at the bottom part is to have something like this so remember when when we coil up an addy, we always fold it uh, kind of like uh, in in a loop like this. So what I do is triple layer, triple layer uh, type of uh, setup. So in the end of it, you will have you you will have one loop. So the loop on its own doesn't really. Uh, wake up uh, very well. So what I do is once I've called this up, once I've called this up, I usually I usually trim it with a nail clipper. So this frayed end, so the end is now frayed. So this frayed end is able to suck in uh, to to wake liquid much better than just the loop itself. So this is what I do, and this is what's pointing to the bottom uh, of the base. So I've, I've tried it with uh, good results and I tend to stick to what I know works. Uh, the, the other thing that I wanted to talk about is the whole setup. What I'm using is a 3 gauge uh, round wire, uh, 3 gauge round wire that's uh, 0 0.25 millimeters thick in diameter. So I have two of it. This in turn will make uh, yeah, let, let's just measure measure the resistance quickly. So let me pull out my rig. Pull out my rig and then quickly we'll check the resistance of the two coil. So on the on the single coil it usually measures up at about 0 0.9 uh, to 1.0 so let us check what the resistance is over here
Yep, so about 0 0.6, 0 0.6 if you minus the, yeah, so 0 0.6 ohm, which is what I really want to see. So if it's displaying 0 0.6, that means it's half uh, of what a single coil of this would be. So let me fire this up. Let me fire this up. But because I have this rig, so I'll just fire it up to, to the rig. You can unload it. Uh, reading. I've used this battery for a bit. So it's about 4.13. What I'll do right now. is fire this up 4.13 I'm looking at about what's that uh, 3.90 3.90 yeah so this is the result oh. so I'm looking at about 3.84 so what's that in voltage uh, let me do that let me do a simple calculation. So we have we have uh, four point one four minus three point eight five. So that's a point three uh, drop. Point three drop. So three point eight five divided by uh, zero point five. 0 0.5 ohm that gives us 7.7 uh, .7 amps of current so multiply that by 3.85 again multiply that by 3.85 and we get 29 watts 29.65 watts so 29.65 watts on the uh, on the two coils so each coil would actually fire at about 14.5 something almost 15 watts each so that is pretty much what we're looking for from having a dual coil uh, setup so let's take a look at how it fires looks uneven right but it's actually even Wow, it's really bright. And what's left of this is actually just to try and vape it, right? Okay, so what I'll do over here is just assemble this part and then we can proceed to assembling the other part of the Addy push it all down together and I will select the 1.0 hole 1.0 hole so that's nice this is what you can see in there quickly uh, drip in my liquid of choice that will be 12 milligrams uh, 70 pg of course so what I would do is actually do a comparison with a single coil versus this guy right here. So because of the bigger volume of the Addy, uh, what I typically drip at, at, one, at one time with, with my single coil uh, Hornet is about 10 drops uh, 14 if the wick is really dry after the dry burn but this one uh, I just put like 20 drops of liquid in there so I'm gonna do this in alternation
Okay, so that was the single coil. Uh, with uh, you can see that I was tilting, tilting the mod. So I want the air hole, uh, the air hole over here facing up, so the liquid doesn't spill. But this one, because it has the cup, uh, uh, cup uh, base, so the liquid will will uh, settle in at the bottom nicely. So what you do is most probably just rip this kind of like upright like this. Wow, it's really hard adjusting to dual coil. With the dual coil, it would be an understatement uh, to say that uh, it's really intense. Uh, it's much more intense than uh, vaping a single coil because what happens is that if you tune it right, you would effectively have two coils that fires at about the same wattage of a single coil. So two burners, uh, that's the analogy I would say, two burners working at the same time. I think the I overdripped the Addy because you can see that the vapor is not that much compared to the single coil. Now that's because I suspect the Addy is a bit wet. So let me vape it a little bit more. If you're using any liquid with menthol inside, it really shines up the menthol. Uh, whew, this is really cool uh, right now compared to the single coil. Huh? You can see the amount of vapor has increased a little bit because the ATI is drying up. It's coming to the efficient, uh, one of the optimum point of wicking to the coil. So we are going to be seeing it shortly. Now we're starting to see the actual performance of it because it's not uh, flooded. And yeah, dual coil, really nice. Flavor-wise, flavor -wise, what I'm getting is that uh, this is much more intense. With, with dual coil, it's much more intense than a single coil because you, are, you have two coils firing at you. And <coughs> wow. Fires up really nicely. Uh, if you're using a liquid with menthol like I am, uh, the menthol overtakes the the flavor, uh, the the intenseness of the of the flavor a little bit, but you can still feel the flavor. It's just the vapor is much. You you can notice that the vapor is much warmer because there's two coils inside, and the menthol really shines. Uh, it's a really good Addy. What what I really think about it is that it's uh, very well thought. Uh, it's 22 millimeters. It sits flush with a lot of uh, mods that are coming out in 22 millimeters dimension now. Uh, it's got the side air hole, so no fuss with any mods that couldn't accommodate uh, bottom draw Addies. At 250 ringgit, uh, I would say. I would say it's a honestly I would say it's a little steep I I would buy it if if it's at about uh, 150 to 200 uh, range uh, but 250 uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that it's too much of a price it's got uh, 
It's built to last. The screw, as you can see, is a Philip type of screw. Uh, you don't, you won't ever need a tiny Allen key like this. You can hardly see this. This Allen key, 0 0.9 millimeters. Uh, so you you won't ever need anything like that. Um, what I like about this Eddie is that uh, because the size is right, the the way it performs, the way it brings out the flavor. Uh, the size of the chamber is right for you to get the best of your liquid and for you to produce vapor like mad. Uh, if you use it with a liquid of 50-50 uh, 50, 50 type of ratio or 30-70 type of ratio, uh, you will definitely get tons of vapor from here. It's just a matter of whether you can take it or you can't. Uh, obviously, after trying this, I'm still... I, I'm still gonna stay back to my uh, my uh, single coil Addy uh, does me wonders, but uh, it's a I I would recommend it if if you guys uh, any of you guys are a fan of uh, a dual coil Addies yeah this is a good Addy to get uh, you get various sizes of holes uh, attached to it and it's got really cool uh, design and. It's all I have to say uh, on this Addy. Uh, what I think of it, it's good. It's good, uh, but it's just not for me. And with that, let me say bye bye. Ooh, cheers and vape on.